What up, people? So, I am headed back to Shoot Dang Ranch after a few days down here in Texas. I actually just left, so I got about, I don't know, I think a direct shot without traffic and all. It's about four and a half hours right now, so uh, it shouldn't be too bad of a drive this time. Uh, you could probably hear there's some animal noises in this uh, car right now, and it's not me. Uh, I was able to get Shadow the cat. I know a lot of people were uh, have been asking since uh, we brought the animals last time. Um, I was not able to get the pigeon, and I was not able to catch the other two hens. So, uh, I mean, there's always another day. Uh, I'll have to come back down at some point, uh, Jason and I, and we'll uh, do some paperwork and just do a, a few other things that we really need to get done around there. As you saw in my video yesterday, I. I did clean out the house completely. I did uh, all the yard work and stuff and uh, made the place look about as good as I can. Uh, like I've seen in my other videos, there's only so much you can polish a turd. And uh, yeah, so everything's ready to go. The house is ready to go up on the market. Uh, I have not heard back from the realtor since he left, but he's gonna email me with all the information and let me know uh, what he thinks it's gonna be worth, uh, how much he's gonna charge and all that good stuff. So um, I'm very excited for this. Uh, I guess it's not really a new journey, but it feels like it right now after basically locking up the house and closing the gate and all that and just looking at the property uh, with everything nice and clean. It is a reality check that uh, that could be the last time I spent the night in Texas at my uh, Texas property. So um, I am very excited for the future. I'm ready to get this tiny house built. I will start the tiny house regardless if my house sells or not. Um, it's just once I sell the house, it'll help me financially tremendously. So, um, yeah, I do have the cat here. I put some cat feed out or cat food out on the back patio. Let me move this camera a little bit. My uh, camera holder is not the best, but I did put some uh, cat food out on the back porch yesterday. She did come up. I was petting on her and stuff. And then this morning, I put a little kennel out and... Uh, started calling her name she instantly ran up which was good and I just sat right next to the kennel kind of was petting on her and I kind of just started nudging her into the the cage as soon as that that cage shut she went uh she went wild she she's not like being in a cage I think she was only in a cage one time when the person who gave us the cat uh, had her in a cage as a kitten uh, basically she is a a wild cat a barn cat uh, she can survive on her own I've seen her catch mice, uh, birds. I haven't seen any snakes, so I'm assuming she's probably caught some of those as well. But uh, yeah, she's in the kennel now. I do have a towel over her, so she's not freaking out too much. Uh, the only part of the kennel that's open to where she can see out is right here on the side face of me. Uh, so I can just keep an eye on her and stuff. But uh, right now she's doing a lot better. She's just sitting there chilling. I think she'll have a good trip. And uh, I'm excited to see what she does out there in the shop and in the barn. I'll probably keep her in the kennel. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it overnight or not. Because uh, I want her to know that that's her new home and for her not to run off and stuff. Now, I don't know if she's actually met Barley and Dexter, which is uh, Danielle's dogs. But it's a cat. And uh, a curious dog will get slapped by a cat. So uh, they'll learn to get along with each other. I'm sure uh, Shadow will be a lot happier now uh, once she gets back. Ooh, that's a cool car. A little like sports car that's all yellow with flames and stuff on it. Uh, I'm sure this road's loud. I'm sure once she goes around the other animals, she'll feel at home again. She's used to all the farm animals. She's been around them for her whole life, basically. So, uh once she goes into the bar, she hears all the sounds and stuff. Maybe it'll put her at ease. Um, she'll be able to see Tucker and Daisy and Baxter and Bandit and uh, just reunite everybody. I really wanted to get the pigeon, but it is what it is. Uh, some people were commenting in the videos in the past saying that you can't rehome a, a pigeon or something. You can't move them around and stuff like that. Well, it came from somebody else's place and it, it made his home at my place. So... Hopefully whoever gets my new property loves animals and uh, will take care of it as well. And I don't know. I just, I'm feeling good about everything, that, what the future holds. And 
Yeah. Ooh, I gotta be on my best behavior. There's a sheriff parked here on the side of the road. I got my backed up blue sticker on the back of my car. I'm good, people. But I did see the video last night uh, of the barn makeover and stuff. I really wanted to finish helping out on that stuff, but Jason and Danielle know that I had to come down here and get some stuff done. And uh, I think they did a great job on the logo and stuff. It gets me excited seeing stuff like that happen, uh, just the transformation and all that. It uh, gets my brain turning on what the possibilities of our houses could be, what they're gonna look like, uh, color schemes and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let me see what is going on over here. Ooh, these Texas game wardens. Shoot, dang. We've got a Texas game warden party over here. About eight, eight trucks down by the little creek. Uh, so yesterday, I know this video is all over the place, but uh, yesterday, uh, Tom texted me and said, hey, Ron and I want to take you out for a Mexican dinner. And uh, that's exactly what we did. We went out to a little place in uh, downtown Terrell and it was awesome. The food was great. The service was great. Uh, we had a lot of good conversations. Uh, shout out to you, Tom, for uh, getting that cheese dip. Oh my gosh, that was perfect. And then uh, they brought Rhonda's food out and the server, she was like, hold on, don't touch it. I don't know if that's another table's food or not. Let me go check. And you can tell Rhonda wanted to dig in, but uh, they uh, ended up being the right food. So we all enjoyed our food. Had a, uh, Rhonda and I had a margarita. Tom was drinking sweet tea because he was driving. And then uh, we went back to their place and uh, hung out. We watched uh, mom and dad's video where they pushed Matt into the pool, which you could instantly see dad's face. Uh, was like, oh crap. Whenever he found it, Matt had his phone in his pocket. If you haven't seen that, go over to Crocker Simply Southern and watch that video. <laughs> but uh, we did watch Jason's video as well, the barn makeover and all that. I think I stayed over there to almost midnight. We just talked a lot. And uh, as I was uh, pulling out of the driveway uh, right now, Tom texted me and just said that uh, basically if I ever need anything, just let them know. And uh, yeah, it was pretty awesome. So I'm going to miss those two. They're welcome once again to Shoot Day Ranch at any time to ride four wheelers and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I'm going to crack this thing open. I hate Starbucks. I hate everything that it uh, stands for, but I never go to Starbucks. But if I need like a coffee energy drink, I do like this one. I'm not gonna lie. I like it more than like the monsters and other stuff. And I didn't, uh, I don't have coffee right now. I didn't have a, I don't have a coffee maker. I don't have any of that stuff over here. So I'm gonna drink one of these, but yeah. And then I want to end the video on this. Once again, I know it's all over the place. Give me one second. Let's talk next link internet. So <clears throat> after several phone calls back and forth, uh, voices were raised, opinions were said. Uh, I had a different manager call me yesterday around five o'clock. I guess they're getting ready to close. And <clears throat> she basically understood I told her how the other manager was and she said that she understands that's not how people are supposed to be and all that kind of stuff and uh, she said she talked to the technician that came out and they did confirm that they did get my equipment and that I wouldn't be charged for that and then I said all right that's all good but let's talk about this cancellation fee the $400 what she said was now that they got their equipment they're gonna go ahead and completely close out my account that the $400 is going to go to claims that uh, basically she said that if I want to use their service again, I will have to pay the $400 to be able to get another stint with them, another uh, go around with them. And I, I just laughed and I just said, I'm not going to pay that. <laughs> I'm also not going to use all service anymore. I just said, uh, just a lot of, uh, stuff I didn't like with that company. I told her that she was very professional. I said the other two entry level ladies were very professional and I appreciated them, but <coughs> I'm going to move forward and basically I don't have to pay that fee. So, uh, that makes me very, very happy because that $400 is going to go to pay for concrete now for the tiny house build. So I can start doing these piers even quicker. So, uh, that right there won't pay for the entire, I don't think it's going to pay for the entire concrete. 
Uh, I think it's going to cost me roughly $600, $700, I think is what it was. So uh, that'll at least pay for more than half of it. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, yeah, that's how my day went. My trip in Texas was overall a very great trip. And uh, it's time to put this house on the market and put some money in my pocket. So hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to go ahead and focus back on the road. And I'll check you back out at Shoot Day Ranch. Bye, people.